Hello everybody, my name is Jar Red and welcome to Childhood. Take care of your family and survive. In this game, you are an orphan and you have to take care of you and your siblings. You must gather resources in order to survive. Uh, so without any further ado, let's just jump right into this game because I'm kind of eager to see what it's like. It looks really cool and it sounds pretty interesting. Ooh. When their mother passes away, Kira and her little sister Nia leave home to carry on with their life. After a four-day train ride along the coastline, they arrive Nuansi, I think, the state capital city. However, without a place to settle down, the two girls wander around the streets and sneak into a broken-down room to spend the night. Furthermore, they run out of fresh food and clean water, so Kira gets out a moment to find something. Ooh. Ain't that pretty. And this must be us. We are Kira. We find food and water. I don't know why she's a robot for some reason. Oh, resources. Did you see that bottle? Pick it up by pressing these buttons and a thing happens. Do you want to go home? Well, we got the water, so let's go home. Got thirsty kids waiting for us. See? I told you. Hey, look who's here. I told you I'd be right back in no time. I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> you don't want to talk? Let's have dinner first and then we'll chat. Share. Share it all. Share the goods. Banana and water. Who needs the food more? Probably me. And you can have the water. Because you're looking a little thirsty there. Yay! Well, we gotta keep our our strength up, because I think we're gonna have to go out and scavenge, so she's doing okay hunger-wise. She was a bit thirsty. Time to go to bed. Day one. Kira and Nia wake up startled in the middle of the night because of a noise. A young kid is making the room a mess. All of a sudden, he turns back and stares at the two girls. Who are you? This is my home, he yells. You can't be here. Get out, he shouts with a shaky voice. But moments later, he wobbles around a little and then falls over, but with no time for Kira and Nia to spit a word. Ah, another desperate soul in search of refuge. Step out and explore. Electricity, let me drink it. Maybe it's water. <laughs> hey, bro. What's up with the mask? <laughs> Can I have your mask, please? It's very creepy. That smelled bad, but it was worth it. We found a rotten banana. What are you up to, buddy? You know me, man. I can't remember a darn thing. That's... It's not a conversation. Oh. Well, this is pretty cool looking, actually. I really kind of dig this, actually. I like the music, too. It's really well done. Why is everyone wearing masks, though? Is that some sort of cultural reference to something? Or perhaps they are all just cogs in a machine? Some sort of metaphor? Okay. Human market. What is that? What is that? Oh. It's a froggy go home fast travel thing. <laughs> I suppose that could probably come in handy at some point. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're getting caught. How are you supposed to sneak in there? Everyone can see you. It's broad daylight. Gotta hurry. Gotta hurry. Huh? Oh, hmm? wasn't here and was never here. You see nothing. <laughs> Dumb shit. It's not even your store. You don't even look like you work there. Okay, we need to find some bandages and apparently um, not a dog, but a teddy bear for the little girl. Where are we going to find medicine? That is the true question. Please, sir, give me money. Sorry, ma'am. Could... Ma'am? That's a ma'am? Could you give me some money? 
<sighs> Give you what? I'm in a hurry. My family is waiting for me to arrive home. Our parents are gone and we need something to eat. I'm so sorry, sweetheart, but we're all thin eyes. What can I do for you? Uh, give me money! Have you ever considered a job instead of begging around the streets? <laughs> okay, you don't worry anymore. I just happen to have some coins over here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> all of that? You should have just given me freaking coins, dude. Excuse me, sir. Oh, kind sir. We can trade. I wonder if we can get bandages from the merchants. Greetings, girl. Are you looking for something in particular? Do you sell any medicine or bandages? Sure, you're such a lucky girl, you know? That's the last one. All right. Oh, we got money, too, so we can afford it. Yahoo! All we need now is that damn teddy bear. Oh. Well, there you have it. There's the, there's the teddy bear. What fortune. Okay, I guess we can head on back home. Time to share some stuff. This kid's just like, I've got an infection! <laughs> Okay, we are all hungry. I guess I'll eat the rotten banana. And I'll give... Oh, wait, we have another... Oh, no, we don't. Don't know if we are doing that right or not. <laughs> not really sure. We'll just go to sleep with this kid in the bed. Why not? Oh, okay. Thank you for playing. Kira, Nia, and Yiru made it through the day because of our choices. But keep in mind that millions of children live below the poverty line all over the world. One of the luckiest things that can happen to you in life is to have a happy childhood. Agatha Christie. Well, there you have it, guys. That's childhood. Um, very interesting game. I really enjoyed that, and I'm looking forward to actually playing a full version of this game. Very very unique setting, being kind of like street urchin children and maybe like a impoverished um, country and having to kind of scavenge the city in order to survive. I can't think of another game that's done that, so this is a pretty unique idea as far as I know. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button and tell me what you guys thought of this game in the comments down below. If you haven't already, share this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos such as this. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon, and I'll see you in the next video.